install that fly bar holder on the head block stick the fly bar in there like this and there's your pitch gauge you'll probably take this little insert out just pop it out of there this thing and then install the pitch gauge on your blade right on the end here now turn on your transmitter and then turn on your model and let the beast X initialize Now I've already got this machine set up. So we should be seeing that fly bar should be pretty level. Actually I'm probably not right at zero. Now you're going to want to go to step G and in step G when you first arrive in step G all your servos go to their neutral position you want to look at them and pick out the one that is closest to being level the servo arm that's closest to being level and then use your rudder stick until you select that servo and make it exactly level. Don't worry about the pitch gauge at this point, but make it exactly level. We're going to look at the swash plate. And you can see that this pitch arm is controlling the blade that has the pitch gauge on it. So we're going to pick out the servo that is closest to being neutral. The one that you've adjusted so it's perfectly level. And let's just say for example it's this servo. This one. We're going to line up the ball on the inner swash plate with that ball and then you're going to adjust the pitch gauge so the top surface lines up with the fly bar. Now we're going to move the swash plate or we're going to move the head until that pitch arm lines up with another servo. It doesn't matter which one but another servo. And you use your rudder stick on the B stacks, you're going to use the rudder stick and select that servo. Now, without touching the pitch gauge, you're going to use elevator to adjust that servo so the top of the pitch gauge lines up with the fly bar. Make sense? Okay. When you get that done, let me move this. You get that done, you're going to rotate it until that same pitch arm is lined up with the other servo. And you're going to adjust it so that the top surface lines up with the fly bar. When you get all three servos done, when you rotate the head, as you, you can walk around and look at the top surface of that fly bar or that uh, pitch gauge and it should stay lined up with this fly bar all the way around. All the way. And if it does, 
That means your swash plate is level. Now, now that you have the swash plate level, set one of the blades to zero pitch. Zero pitch. And then go, you'll work your way through the microbeast setup to step J. For step J, make sure that the blades are lined up with the tail boom. The tail boom and the blades are parallel, exactly. Set your pitch gauge to six degrees. It doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative. Set it to exactly six degrees. And then <clears throat> use the elevator stick until the top of the pitch gauge is lined up with the fly bar. And let me adjust the camera. You got plenty of time to do this, so there's no need to rush. But just get the top of the pitch gauge lined up with the fly bar. And then you can let go of the elevator stick and then press the set button. Now, at this point, before you hit the set button, look at the status light. It should be blue. Um, if it's not blue, we need to talk. And you got more work to do. All right, now go to step K, and we're going to set the pitch range. To set the pitch range, set your pitch gauge at 14 degrees. And this is positive and that's negative. You can see the little marks. Move your collective stick all the way up and then use then use the rudder stick to adjust it so the top of the pitch gauge is even with the fly bar. I think the little status light blinks or something when it's set. When you get done with that, set it to minus 14. Move, move your stick all the way down. <clears throat> I gotta keep adjusting the height of this camera for some reason. Move it all the way down, and then use your rudder stick to adjust it so that the top of the pitch gauge is lined up with the fly bar. And then when you're done, push the button, and then you're done with step K. You're done with the pitch gauge at that point. That's all, that's all the use of the pitch gauge there is, so I hope all this helped.